So we used up just over 5,000 cannonballs right now at the Lizardman Shaman, and what I've decided to do is just jump into the Christmas event that the old school team has released. So let us talk to the wise old man and let us get this done. And wow, okay. Um, that's that's kind of cool. So apparently now when you complete a hol uh, holiday event, you get this. That's cool. So we get no quest points, get all the previous Christmas stuff that we already have. We get the wise... Wise old man Santa's hat, a costume, and yeah, whatever. Okay, so uh, that's actually really cool. So we get ourselves two Santa hats and two Christmas crackers. I do want to wear, hang on a minute. I actually want to find this. Where is it? No, not pickpocket the farmer. Holiday items. I actually do want to see this hat. Let's have a look at this. Let's have a look. Okay, that is actually like a really cool combination of two different items into one. So there we go, there is that completed, and since we are here, might as well get the new quest done as well. So this should be the end of the quest now, so congratulations, 257 quest points now, we have completed every single quest, except for that, I need to, I need to get that cape when I can. So we get two quest points and access to the cove, that's awesome. So now let's go back to the Lizardman Shaman, and what I'm going to do is... I'm going to use the 4,241 I got here, so then I can, instead of just me constantly just being at the Lizardman Shamans for now, I'm going to be opening up to, you know, Barrows and also Zora. So, let's hope we can try and get the Dragon Warhammer soon. <gasps> yes! Oh! I just got it! Holy shit! Oh, yes, baby, let's go! Oh my god, yeah, thank you for the audio. How many kills? 3,689 fucking shamans and I got it! I got it! Okay, so now we have a Dragon Warhammer. The coolest thing about this one, I'm telling you guys now, this is my fourth Dragon Warhammer on this account alone. I'm, my heart is racing right now. And the funny thing is, I actually, you know what? I'll show you at the GE. So I'm going to say sorry to the people who weren't expecting me to get the Dragon Wall Hammer. But we did get it. And once again, I'm sorry for the whole fucking audio peaking. Because I really peaked the fuck out of it, honestly. Uh, so this is everything that we got from the 8,650 cannonballs that we used. But in total, we used up 18,650 cannonballs uh, when we started just grinding out for the Dragon Wall Hammer. And basically... What I did to myself was kind of troll myself. So, here's the Dragon Warhammer, and then here's the Rune Warhammer. I have them both highlighted. As you can see, non-highlighted is white, and the reds are highlighted. So, every time I got myself the Rune Warhammer, I just wasn't expecting it. Like, in a way, I was kind of like, oh, I'm not going to get the Dragon Warhammer. But then I got the Dragon Warhammer. So, what does this mean now? What this means now is that now I can prepare myself for raids. Now, the only problem is I don't have Elite Void. That's where they go for, so... Hope we can get this Elite Void as quick as we can, so we can go straight into raids. So, let the grind begin. So we finally got ourselves to 400 points, and what I've actually decided to do is, I'm actually going to take out the Void uh, Top and Road Bond that we currently have in our uh, in our house. Uh, so we are actually going to get this into Elite. So that basically means I'm going to have to come back here anyway and try to get myself another Top and Bottom to uh, just fill up the house. So. I believe we just have to use the top onto it. Yep, there we go. Pay for that. And pay for that. Awesome. So now I actually finally got myself Elite Void. It took me a while, but I finally got it. So now I believe the last thing I have to do now is just get myself the Void Mage Helmet. And I basically completed everything. Now, I did have a look into my house, and I was thinking, oh, you know, I could just add the Void, uh, the void Mace in. Apparently, you can't. So... I'm still going to go for it, it will probably just sit in my bank. But for now, I think I'm just not going to touch it and just try to go and get myself the Mage Hood. And that'll be it. And we don't have to do Pest Control anymore. Or well, until I have to go get myself another top and bottom. So, uh, let's finish off our Pest Control grind and we can finally set up on raids. We are coming on to the final game right now. So that should be 200 points there. So now we can finally get ourselves our, uh, what's it called again? Uh, Mage Void Helm, that's right. And as you can see, look at that, 4 hours and 44 minutes. That's how long it took me to get the Elite and also the Helmet. So let's go and exchange, make sure we get the Mage Helmet. We don't need the other ones, and confirm. 
And there we go. We finally have ourselves full elite mage there. And we also got ourselves the melee helm and the range helm, which is sitting in the house right now. So it looks like I'm going to have to be uh, pulling out the void uh, in my house, which is... I mean, I didn't want to have to, but now I kind of have to. So it doesn't really bother me anyway, because I'm kind of happy I have to, you know, I'm doing it like this. So let's grab these two out. So this is basically what we're going to be using for, uh, well, for our raids. So before we do that, I'm actually going to try and do some barrows and hopes I can get myself the Aram's top, because if we can get that, uh, that can actually be pretty helpful for when we go into raids, since uh, it does more damage than accuracy than, uh, you know, what the Void range, uh, Void Mage does. So... If we don't get ourselves the Aram's top, then we might as well just go in with the Elite Void. And since we got ourselves our Dragon War Hammer, this is going to be so much better. So, uh, good luck to us at the Barrow's Chest for our 20 Barrow's Chest. And let's see if we can get what we want. Second chest, what are we going to expect? An item? Mm, yep. I already have the Coif, don't I? I'm pretty sure I do. I just need, yeah, I just need the Skirt. So, shit duplicate. Fuck. Chest 5. Ooh! DHX! Yeah, boys. That's what I like to see. Three items now for Derox, so we're missing the... Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're missing the plate body now. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm trying to think. <laughs> I'm actually just trying to think what items I have and don't have. But, um, yeah, Derox X. New item for Derox. Awesome. Chest 17. Come on, please be a third item. Again, Torek's legs. Come on, man. Two duplicates and a new item. Oh, well. The final chest coming up now, and we do not get any items. Damn it. Oh, well. So, ending off with a new item, which is the Derok Axe, and we got two duplicates, which is the Carol's, uh, Carol's Coif and the Torek's Plate Legs. So, let's see how much money I made from this. And it should be good. 1.4 mil. Not bad. So, now that's all the barrage chests done. We didn't get ourselves the Aram's top. So, it looks like I'm just going to be going in with my Void. So, here we go. We're finally going into raids. I'm actually excited for this. And hopefully, we do really well. So, before we go into the raids, this is the gear that we're going to be bringing. Now, as you can see, this is going to be our melee setup. I'm just bringing the whip for now. Just until I think that, you know, I can just go in with the Kraken Tentacle instead. Um, the only reason why I'm not going in with it because I don't want to waste charges on it since, you know, I can't buy the Kraken Tentacle nor I can buy uh, whips at all. So that's basically going to be the melee setup there and with the Dragon Warhammer, which is going to be very helpful. Uh, next, we got the range set. So we are using the Runai Crossbow with a Book of Law uh, as we are using the Ruby Bolts and also the Toxic Blowpipe. Maybe if I put the helmet on, there we go. Now it looks a lot better there. Uh, next, uh, we do have the mage set as well. So that is basically going to be all our setups there. And we also got ourselves the rune pickaxe and the dragon axe for those shortcuts. And also for the guardians with the pickaxe. And also the mirror dial with the uh, dragon axe. So uh, if you guys are wondering, you know, what kind of, why am I not using a book switch for the mage setup? This is where this comes in handy. Now, as you can see here, what a mage book. I didn't put this item into the list, only because I didn't think I was going to be needing it at all. But in a way, it is kind of helpful, and I did buy it since I didn't put it into the list. So, now we actually have a mage set up there, and we have actually filled up about four, eight, or 16 inventory slots there. Uh, but all I know is, as soon as we uh, finish up with our raid, all I know is that, uh, well, I'm not finishing up, when we go into Ulm, we're going to be putting away the crossbow and the uh, and the Book of Lore as well, as well as the Rune Pickaxe and the Dragon Axe. And I do have the water spells here, just so um, none of us really forget it. And I don't really do that roll normally, so I don't normally bring it with me. But for now, I'm actually just going to bring it with me since it's going to be uh, helpful to you know whoever's raiding with me. So uh, for the very first raid, we're going to see what loot we get and how many points and uh, all the other recordings are basically just going to be the items. So I believe we're on 164, so we'll go all the way to 170, and then we're going to try and do 10 raids every episode, which uh, will, would take us a while for to do you know 10 raids, since they go roughly about for half an hour. So yeah, it will take us a while to do this. So hopefully we are very successful in our very first raid, and 
I really hope to see an item as quick as possible. Hopefully the Twister Bow. Everyone wants a Twister Bow, but I think I'm really going to want the Twister Bow. Alright boys, make your predictions for the loot. Our very first raid, what are we are going to get? Nothing there. Alright, 29 minutes. Wow, that's actually my best now. So we got 15k points. Fuck, 64 mahogany planes and 40 kawams. Eh, not really the best, but you know what? It is a start to our raid. So at least we know that we still have it. That we're still, you know, good to do uh, raids. So let us continue. Get us to 170. And then we're going to move on back to Zora. Alright, good luck guys. This is going to be our final raid for this episode. Will we get an item? Let's find... Oh, oh we don't. 36 minutes as well. Okay, so. Now we're at 170, so now we can do 10 raids at a time. 107 dragon arrows. Oh, I can't wait to use that when we do get ourselves a twisted bow. Uh, but yeah, so now we're at 170. We're going to be doing uh, 10 raids per episode, so... Uh, hopefully with all that we should be able to get ourselves a couple of items. I'm hoping to get an item kind of soon. I'm not sure which one it'll be, but I'm kind of hoping it's not going to be any of the scrolls because we don't need any of those. So, uh, now we've got that out of the way, let us go to Zora and try to get ourselves our Serpentine Visage. Easy kill. I kind of hope I can get the pet eventually. I'm going to get an Elite instead. <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, let's get it done. We have our reward casket now from the Zora boss. So, what are we going to get? Uh, pies. Who doesn't like pies, man? 110k with room plate legs as well. Oh, another dragon stone and a dragon mace. Not bad. At least it's over 100k at least. No, why not? Now it's dead. A dragon med helm. Are you kidding me now? Ugh. Oh. I mean, come on, man. I've already got my Dragon Man helm. I don't need a number one. But it's kind of nice to actually get one of these. I mean, really. I mean, seriously. I waited so long for me just to get a Dragon Man helm for the Gears for the Year series. And I didn't get that at all. Now I'm getting Dragon Man helms all the time. Like, what the hell? Seriously, game. And there it is. The final kill at Zora now. What are we going to get? Absolute shit. It's literally just a Snapdragon, I'm going to say. So... There's another 25 kills done there. Uh, now, the best thing to do now is go back into Slayer. And then we can try and get ourselves into Bando, since we do have the Dragon Warhammer now. So, let's get a Slayer task done at the Aberrant Spectres, and see if we can get ourselves some superiors, and please, maybe, an Imbued Heart. Imbued Heart is what I really want at this point, actually, from the superiors. So, let's see if we can get it. A very, very disappointing Slayer task at the Aberrant Spectres. I, I literally got nothing. The only thing I got was an Ancient Shard. Out of like 200 of them, no superiors or anything, so... Dyrodel, can you make my day, please? Smack Devils. Okay, at least I can barrage that. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to try and get myself 30 raids completed. WHAT?! At the end of the task, the final Smoke Devil we kill, we get the Occult Necklace. Um, I'm not sure what kind of luck that is. But that is actually mad. So no superiors that task, but we finished off with an occult, which is mad. Also, 960 Slayer tasks in a row. Alright, Duradal. You give me some Curas? Well, guess what? I'm gonna go kill some Bandos. God Sword Shard 2 now! Come on, man! How many shards do I need to get from Bandos? Legit. I think I've had... I I have no idea. I have no idea what the bloody drop table for that thing is now. But honestly, that is just disgusting for the amount of these bloody shards I've gotten. in. <gasps> yes! Yes! Bear those hilt! Oh, there we go. Two out of the four bear those items there, boys. There it is. Yep, you should be thinking about that. So there we go. Now all that's left is the Tassets and the Bandos Boots, and we are completely done with Bandos. That is awesome to see. So this is going to be our third attempt at trying to say this. So as soon as we kill Bandos, please hurry up and die. There we go. Alright, can I actually say it now? Wait for him to die first. Finally, okay, there we go. 600 kill count now at Bando. So we're just going to use up the rest of our supplies. And I'll meet up with you guys back 
at uh, Edgeville just to show everything that we've gotten from these two trips that we have completed. So I'm back with my mate Webfish who decided to tank for me this whole time. So a big thank you to you, buddy. So we're just going to show everything that we've gotten from this trip now. Uh, so let me just put all this in first because this is uh, all the stuff that I'm meant to be giving him. So we... Or in this case, he made a lot of money there. He's made 1.7 mil plus this, so uh, that's roughly about 1.9, I would say, that he's made from these kills that we did. And adding this in, that's going to put the value up a lot. So uh, what I'm probably going to do from him is I'm actually going to take those two God Sword Shards off him so I don't have to... Actually, no, nah, I'm not going to take it off here. I'll let him keep it. I'm just going to buy myself the, uh, the blade, so... Thank you, Webfish, for joining me, buddy. And let's go make a uh, Bandos God Sword. So I've already bought myself the God Sword uh, ornament kit. So now let's get the blade now. There it is. Buy for like 570, uh, 530k there. Now, let's put the blade onto the hilt. And there we go. I finally got myself the bloody Bandos God Sword. It was the battle between the uh, Dragon War Hammer and the Bandos God Sword, but now I have them both. So I'm actually really quite happy to see that. So now let's put the kit onto this. And there we go. It's just a darker color onto it. Like, what the hell? Alright, so since that's all done now, let's go back to doing some Slayer.